talk about the rain that just doesn't seem to want to stop. It no. doesn't. Take a look at the calendar so far for this month. So this goes based off of our temperatures. Were they below average or above average? And the amount of rain that we've seen so far. And uh, here's a look outside right now. And you can see the rain coming down. So it's not letting up anytime soon. And then here's a look at the calendar for oh. the month of March so far. Every single day has had rain. And even mixing in a little bit of snow there for a couple of those days for parts of the valley in the metro area. And then as you can see, the numbers highlighted in blue just about every single day, with the exception of Friday the 3rd, has been below normal temperature wise. So a very chilly, wet start to March. Uh, take a look at some of the rain totals that we have seen so far this month. We've already had over an inch in Portland. Uh, so we are definitely above normal there. Salem at uh, 2.3 inches, nearly 2 inches in Eugene. We've had almost 5 inches of, of rain in Astoria. Then for the first 8 days of March in Vancouver has already had over an inch of rain. So we're all in a surplus for the month of March. We all know how February went down. Wettest month on record. And take a look at the water year, which starts October 1st. And so far, we've already had nearly a year supply of rain uh, in just a short time period. And as you go down towards Astoria, 66 inches inches of rain, over 66 inches of rain. And that puts us in a 20 inch surplus there for the water year. So these numbers are just incredible and March starting off so wet too. Uh, temperatures again, like I showed you, have been chilly, but we're about to change all that around. We're about to see a big change in the weather pattern, not only for us here in the Pacific Northwest, but for much of the country too, as the cold air starts to bypass us, takes a deep dive to the south, and we start to see our temperatures climb back up again closer to normal. Today ran well below normal again with high struggling to get out of the low 40s. Rain continues to come in for Portland. It's going to be wet tonight, so just go ahead and plan on keeping the rain gear close by. Heavier showers pushing into the Cascades. We have more wet weather developing out the coast range, pushing, pushing into the valley. And as you spread the map out, you can even see showers still developing off the coast. Late tonight, we'll try to get a little reprieve before we get hit by another round of rain tomorrow. In fact, tomorrow looks a little wetter than even today was. Flood watches have already been issued south of Portland so central and southern portions of the valley starting late tonight until 10 p.m. Friday. River levels are going up and with more rain on the way and the snow levels coming down. So that means snow melt adding to the mix. Uh, we'll have to keep a close eye on some of those rivers for potential flooding. 42 degrees in Vancouver right now, 42 in Portland. You get down south, we're in the low to mid 50s. Southerly winds are really going to start to kick in, and temperatures could actually go up a little more this evening into the upper 40s before they fall back down again into the mid 40s by tomorrow morning. So that's just a sign that we're warming things up, and tomorrow we're in the mid 50s for highs, which is where we should be for this time of the year. Your rain is so forecast. So as of 7:30, it's still coming down across most of the valley. As we get closer to midnight, we do start to see a little more dry time for us. First thing in the morning, this is 8 a.m. You can see rain developing south to north. So if you really are looking for some dry time, just get up really early tomorrow morning. There's a chance for a brief window there. And then it just kind of fills in and stays that way. So a steady rain for most of the day. We'll have some breaks here and there. We could pick up half an inch to even three quarters of an inch of rain tomorrow as we tap into some deeper moisture. But the good news is if you want to dry things out a little bit Friday, Friday morning, we start off with slight chance for showers, but by Friday afternoon, look at this, nothing showing up on our future radar here. So we're going to be looking at drier conditions, temperatures in the mid 50s, and perhaps even some sunshine before the next wave of moisture moves in uh, for the second half of Saturday. So Friday into early Saturday, a nice little dry window for us. Tomorrow, tough to find that dry window. Uh, rain chances start in the morning. They stick around throughout the day. Highs again tomorrow in the mid 50s. Same thing for the coast. Winds will be picking up too, especially tomorrow night into early Friday. We'll top out in the 50s and bend. And your seven day forecast, mid 50s sticking around for the next couple of days. A little dip Saturday. Next week, mid to upper 50s, perhaps up near 60 degrees. What? So <laughs> temperatures are really making a big turnaround. And don't forget to uh, flip those clocks too this Saturday. Spring ahead oh, is, right. is time yeah. for the, the time change. And you can download the PDX weather app to keep up with all the weather alerts, watches, mm -hmm. and warnings, etc. We've seen so many of them, yeah. and they're still coming on out because it's know, been so active. The great thing about all this rain. The waterfalls in Oregon have yeah, been gushing. Beautiful. Beautiful. And, you know, it seems like a distant memory. We're talking about the drought situation. Yeah, it sure does. That's long gone that's now. Gone. So that's good. We'll be right, right back. Yeah. <laughs>